Hello, Kevin M. Craft with KevinMCraft.com, your one-stop shop for all things Kevin M. Craft. Welcome to a series of short videos designed to help the aspiring novelist begin his or her journey successfully. Uh, hopefully, the advice that I give you will, will help you begin your journey uh, well, and uh, you'll see success in, in the end. One of the questions I'm asked often by would-be novelists is, where do I get my ideas? Well, I have a vivid imagination anyway, so that, that helps. Whether you have a vivid imagination or not, there are a number of ready, readily available sources that can help spark the imagination and, and seed your story ideas. Let's talk about some of those right now. One place you're sure to find story ideas for a number of different genres is the news. Scientific advancements are always sparking ideas for science fiction and fantasy. Uh, legal drama occurs outside the, the courtroom and inside the courtroom and can be a, a, a source of those kind of ideas. Crime dramas, you, know, you name it. The news is a wonderful place for sources for stories. So take a look at the, uh, at the news, read some of the stories, and see if they spark an idea for your own story, regardless of what genre you write in. Personal experience can offer a, a number of, of different uh, story ideas. Uh, did you have a difficult childhood? Did you have a humorous childhood? Do you have a crazy uncle that everyone else talks about, always doing, uh, always doing crazy things? Were you ever lost in the woods for a long period of time? Uh, did you ever travel to an exotic place as a child? And do you have wonderful memories of that place? Personal experience is rich with ideas for wonderful stories of all genres and of all uh, uh, emotional experiences. And so you don't want to discount personal experience. As a matter of fact, it may be the first place you go for your story ideas. Probably one of the most neglected sources of story ideas are other books and other stories. Have you ever read a book that you like, but the ending perhaps was something that if you had your choice, would have been done differently? Was there a minor character in a, in a story that you identified with and really loved and, and would love to see a story uh, about that character instead of the main character? St other stories that we read are usually quite inspiring, especially if there's a particular author or a particular book or story that inspired you to write in the first place. So think about the books and stories that you've read. See if there's a seed of an idea for your own original story. The last source for story ideas and may be obvious, but may not be, and that is asking simply, what if? What if is a, is a loaded question that just invites a myriad of story ideas, almost a limitless supply of story ideas. So always ask yourself, what if? You know, and uh, from there, you're sure to come up with at least a germ of a, story, of a story idea, if not several, that you can draw from to work on, on your first book. These are just a, a few ideas that you can draw from to start your story idea and to, write, to start writing your book. Of course, if you have any questions, I'm always available. You can reach me through kevinmcraft.com. I'm always uh, glad to hear from you and to answer your questions. But I hope that you're encouraged by this first video and those to come to begin your journey writing your first novel. And I wish you all the success. Again, I'm Kevin M. Craft. Thanks for joining me for Tips Tuesday.